The Mexican government has expressed its concerns about new immigration laws in Florida that aim to address illegal immigration. Florida's Senate Bill 1718, signed by Governor Ron DeSantis in May and effective as of July 1, has drawn criticism from Mexican leaders who believe it will negatively impact the human rights of Mexican migrants and create hostile environments leading to hate crimes. The bill allocates $12 million to the Division of Emergency Management for the unauthorized alien transport program. It also includes provisions such as requiring hospitals to inquire about patients' legal status, mandating employers to use the e-verify system, and allowing charges of human trafficking against those knowingly transporting illegal migrants. The Mexican government has pledged to provide legal and diplomatic services to affected Mexican nationals and will train consular staff on the implications of SB 1718. In response to these developments, DeSantis, who is running for the GOP presidential nomination in 2024, unveiled a plan to enhance border security by granting more enforcement power to local authorities and deputizing law enforcement officers to carry out deportations.